Good morning. It's Sunday. It's 4th of July. Please get a nice eyeful of Milo because he is going home after my class. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna deliver him and he's making himself quite comfortable over here. Um, so it's Sunday. We're doing barefoot cardio conditioning for the holiday. So that means all you need is enough space. Hi, Eduardo and Dario. Enjoy Milo, he's going home after his class today. Um, you just need enough space to step forward, side, and back from wherever you're starting. If you have a mat, that is an added bonus. Hi, Aerie. Um, if you have something that looks like this, this is a yoga block. Um, it, it's just a 3D rectangle. If you have something like this, you may want it for our last interval. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can use a thick hardback book or a larger dumbbell turned on its side. So if you have one of these, set it over to your right side. I'm also gonna set a, um, not a pillow, a towel over there with it because I'm gonna be super sweaty by the time we get there. So um, if you are not doing this live, maybe after the fact um, on my YouTube fitness channel, Thank you for subscribing to that, sharing it with a friend, um, liking the video. Hi, Steve. You're from, Pan oh my gosh, Panama and Mexico. I love that you guys are in two different countries participating. Um, if you're wondering how to get there, there's a link in my Instagram bio. I also keep all of these on my IGTV, so you can find them anywhere. You can work out anytime, anywhere. There's over, a, I think there's like 160 classes on there now. So, if you're, this is your first time doing this format, we are going to warm up, sort of a yoga flavored warm up with a lot of upper body stabilization built right in. You can always put your knees on the floor for plank. Um, and then also, uh, we'll, then we'll move into some cardio intervals right away. I teach them all in layers. So if you're working with an injury or it's your first time in a while, you can always stay in the first or second layers. If you're working with an injury that you've seen a doctor for, make sure that you are clear to do this so you don't aggravate your um, injuries any further. Um, then we'll finish with core and stretch. I am gonna utilize the towel today for core, so if you have an extra one of those laying around or you don't mind using your sweaty towel, that's great. Um, thank you to everybody who's been able to throw a donation to my Venmo or my PayPal or my sale mail. I really appreciate it. It's been keeping this going for oh, 500 days now. Hi, Jane. Yes, my teeth are doing better. They're still a little sensitive, but at least I, I'm not in the pain that I was. Ellen, good morning. Um, but if, if you're looking for any of that donation information, it's all on my Saturday post. Um, and then, oh, and also keep a beverage nearby. I'm keeping water in a fancy wine glass, still with a straw because it's still a little bit sensitive for a couple weeks. But um, whatever you want to drink, pour it on in. Having said all of that, let's stand up if you weren't already. In the front edge of wherever you're working, take your feet wide, shoulders down and back, hips under your shoulders. You can wiggle your toes, then sink your hips. So you'll feel the stretch on the inside. So fun to see you, Ellen. Um, palms together. I was just gonna say, someone was asking me about whether or not there would be full hour-long classes the way there used to be in a building. And so far, I have not heard anything about hour-long classes. Push down to come up, sink your hips again, press your palms together, although it would be nice. Try to lift your heels and lower again. I forgot to mention after party like I always do. Lift your heels and lower your heels once more. Lift your heels up and then lower. Push down to come up. Take your 10 toes towards me. Sink your hips, hands on your legs, shoulders away from your ears. Then tuck your hips and give your back a little round and then extend. Do it again, tuck your hips and extend. This time, tuck your hips, come all the way up. Feet underneath your hips, both arms come up, and then forward fold, bend your knees, lace your fingers, round up, 
When you get up, press your palms towards me, round your back again, and up. Do it again. So we'll fold, lace up, round again. So fold, up, press. Do it again. Fold, up, press. One more time. Fold, round, press. This time, forward fold. Either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor. Either way, you can wiggle your toes. Try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee, sitting into your left hip. Then change sides, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee, sitting into your right hip. Bend both knees, let your head hang, lift your tailbone up, and slowly unroll when you're all the way up. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up, forward fold, tailbone lifts up, unroll in four, three, two, this time on your forward fold, bend your knees far enough to get your hands to the floor, then step your feet back to find your downward facing dog, that's your heels pressing into the floor, tailbone lifting up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Palms pressing into the floor. From here, lower your hips to any kind of a plank. Knees on the floor or up. Either way, wrists under your shoulders. Press down, come back to down dog. Two counts to get to plank. Lower it in one, two, and up. Do it again. Lower for two. Push down twice more, so lower. Your hips push down. Last time, lower for two. This time, hold your down dog. Shift your weight to your right hand and foot. Bring your left leg up only until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay here or bend your left knee and open up your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to your three-legged dog. Bend both feet to the floor, but keep your weight in your right hand and foot. Bring your left hand back to your left ankle. Engage your core and step your left foot forward. Keep your knee bent. Bring your hands up to your left leg. Chest comes up. Both arms come up. Back leg is straight with the heel up. Hinge forward one, two back up in one. Do it again. Hinge over for two. And up, let's do it again. Hinge over, one, two, and up. This time, both hands on the inside of your left leg. Feel the stretch in your left hip. Push your hands into the floor, engage your core, and step your left foot back to any plank. Then lift your tailbone back up to your down dog. We're gonna reverse that entire sequence. Shift your weight into your left hand and foot. Bring your right leg up only until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to your three-legged dog. And then your right leg comes down, but you keep your weight in your left hand and foot. Then your right hand reaches back to your right ankle. Engage your core. Step your right foot forward. Walk your hands up to your right hand. Belly button pulls in towards your spine. Arms up. Back leg is straight. Hinge over in one, two. Almost tipped over. Do it again. So the after part, I never finished my thought, will be upper body and deep stretch using small dumbbells. Last time here. Now both hands on the inside of your right foot. Keep your core engaged, wrists under shoulders. Then bring your right leg back to find any plank. Sure. Then if your knees are still up, put them down now. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Child pose here. Then round up and find your modified plank with your hips in line with your shoulders and your knees. Push down. You can stay here or bend your elbows a little bit or more or a lot. 
straighten your elbows, hips to your heels. Let's make that flow together. Round up and either hold or bend and child's pose. Do it again, round up, hold or bend. Do it again, round up, hold or bend. Same thing, round. Let's go twice more here. Round up, hold or bend this time. Come all the way down. Hands stay at the sides of your chest. Right leg comes up, then your left. And then option to press down and lift your chest up and rotate behind you. Two more. Then press your chest up, hips to your heels. Child's pose here. Then round up to your modified plank again. When you get here, tuck your toes, push down to find your down dog. Bring your knees back to the floor. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Let's make that flow together. Round up, in one, two, push down. Knees to the floor, child's pose. Do it again, same thing. Round up, push down, lower your knees. Child's pose, same thing, once more. Round up, push down, lower your knees. This time, modify plank and hold here. Wrist under shoulders, try to tuck your toes and lift your knees. Right hand to the middle, rotate to your left side to find your side plank. Feel free to put your right knee on the floor. Top arm reaches to me, and up. Then underneath your bottom arm, and a single count towards me, and up, and under. Do it again, towards me, and up, and under. Hold your side plank. Come back to the center. Find any plank. Left hand to the middle, and rotate to your right. Finding your side plank, wrist under shoulder, top arm reaches to me. Remember, your left knee can find the floor underneath one, two, single count. Reach to me, then under. Do it again. And then hold your side plank. Breathing all the way in and out. And come back to the center. Any plank will do. Then lift your tailbone up. Down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. You should be nice and warm. Forward fold, let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up, slowly unroll. At the top, shoulders down the back, palms together. Find a small squat where your tailbone reaches back to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink if you need it now. All right, we start always in this format with our plank mountain climber interval. Lots of levels. One more here, then both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, hands to the floor. Step back and find any plank. So you can start with your knees down and then your option will be to bring them up maybe one at a time. Once they're up, you can bring your knees into your chest one at a time. You can work slowly, or you can go slightly faster here. So you can bring the knees in. Maybe you double it up and run it. So option, you can go slower for a few, then speed it up. So you pick, make it any combination you like. I like to go for the medium tempo, then forward quickly, then hold any plank. Your tailbone lifts up. Down dog, walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, tailbone lifts, slowly unroll at the top, palms together and squats. So we'll do that two more times. Remember on your squat, you're pushing down to come up. So last night, gave Milo his final spa treatment of the bath washed his bed, getting all ready to return. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up, bend both knees, hands to the floor, step back to any plank, hold or bring your knees in slowly 
or slightly faster here. Or maybe double it up and run it. Either way, hands under shoulders. I'll slow down for a few. Then I'll speed up. You pick your level. In, in. Maybe faster in four, three, hold any plank. Tailbone lifts up, down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, tailbone lifts up. Slowly unroll. At the top, palms together, squat. When I'm back there doing that interval, I always feel like my heart rate should be 250. And then I glance at my watch and I see, oh, it's really not even 100. It just feels crazy. Push down. Try not to lock your knees. Once more, both arms come up. Inhale, reach up. Bend both knees far enough to get your hands to the floor. Step back, find any plank and bend. Maybe your knees come slowly, maybe faster. You decide I'm going medium speed and then fast for four, three. I'm going medium. Feel free to go slower than me. Wrists under shoulders. Shoulders away from your ears. Breathing all the way in and out. Hold any plank. Tailbone lift. Down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold. Tailbone up. Unroll. At the top, recovery squat. Okay, you should be toasty warm, sweating even. Make sure you have room all the way around, especially the front of the side right now. Then your left leg steps out one time. Step to your right. Hips down to your shoulders. Adjust your wardrobe if you need. This shirt is a creeper. Or maybe it's my butt, I don't know. All right, when you're ready, sink your hips. They stay under your shoulders, your knees, stay over your ankles, your toes and knees, slightly turn to the corners. You'll feel the stretch on the inside when you push down to come up. Arms come up. So sink, knuckles reaching for the ceiling. Sink, press. Now maybe your left arm comes down, up, down, on the right, Maybe you release and look up. So right arm comes down to the left. Remember you can stay here if that's better for you. For four, three, two, parallel squat. Touch your knees, knuckles up. Two more, hold your arms up. Left leg sits to me, then your right. So this is your footwork. As you step forward, your back heel pops up off the floor. A little lift, lift is what I'm trying to say. Maybe sink your hips. So sink, push down. Arms come straight down, straight up. Do it again. So four, up, three, two more. Palms together, squats here. So the two moves, the step out release, and then step forward, lunge, with the arms come straight down and up, are our two moves. It's a lot. Let's start with the left side. The left leg steps out, maybe you release. Maybe just straight down, two more. Now left leg steps towards me, arms straight down, and up, straight down, and up, two more. Step out left, sink, release, four. And three, push against the floor to come up. Step towards me, arms straight down. Two more. Let's do it in two. Step out left once, once to the right. Now towards me on your left. Again, step out left. These are two. Towards me. Do it again. Step out left. And right towards me. 
Can we split it in singles? One of each, step left here, towards me left. On the right side, step back. Towards me on the right. On your left. Towards me. On your right. Towards me, one more, each side here. Towards me left. On your right. Towards me. Parallel squat, palms together. Let your heart rate settle. Make sure you can wiggle your toes here. Shoulders down and back. If you're wearing a gadget, check and see where your heart rate is. It's probably not as high as it feels since it's early on. Feet wide, toes stay towards me. Pushing down to come up every single time. Reach down, pull up, knuckles up. So reach, pull up, you're pulling Rope straight out of the floor. Do it again. Four of these. Three. Push down. Chest stays up. Palms together. Left leg diagonally back. Sink. For two. Other side. Sink down. Single count here. So sink. Try to keep your hips square towards me. Maybe your back arm reaches up behind you. So the only reason it's your back arm is because, well, I don't really know why, it's the opposite arm to the leg that's going back. So it's actually not your back arm at all. Feet parallel wide, squat. Four, push down. Two more. Left leg diagonally back right here for four. Three, two, wide parallel squats here. Four, push down, two more. Left leg diagonally back here for four. Three, chest stays up. Two, wide parallel squat here for four. Three, two more. We'll do one more set. Left leg diagonally back, four of these. And three, two, Par wide parallel squat for four, three, last one, palms together, squats here. All right, make sure you can talk, give it a test. You should be able to, but not want to. Again. All right, feet under your hips, hips under your shoulders. This is our original recovery squat. Check it out. Left leg steps out once, then right. So your inside leg stays straight. Your outside leg will bend. So it's sort of a lateral lunge, but we're gonna put a spin on it. You'll do a slight turn out, slight turn out to the corner. Arms up, arms out to the side, only back up. So side, you can take your Thumbs up or palms down. You decide. Do it again. So out. So it's a slight turn out on a lateral lunge. Feet parallel, squat, touch your knees. Knuckles up. Easy enough. Two more. Step out, left side, lateral lunge. I'm gonna call this a warrior lunge. You sort of what it feels like. The warrior two, parallel squat, touch your knees, four. Press down, come up, three. Let's do it in twos. One left, warrior lunge to your right. Squat, touch your knees twice. Do it again, step out left and right. Push off your outside leg, squat. Do one more time in twos, warrior lunge, out and right. Squat, touch your knees. Let's split it in half, one left, one, squat, touch your knees. Right side, warrior lunge. Touch your knees. Do it again, and out, up. Once more, touch your knees. Palms together, find your squat. Take a little step forward if you need. We'll work the space behind us. Pushing down to come up, so there's never weight in your toes. Left leg. Step back one time. Step back. Other way. Same thing. 
Now let's step back. You have an option to sink your hips. Your knees still track the same direction as your toes. They actually stay over your ankles. If you're taking a hip sink, be sure to focus on the push down to come up. Cross your forearms. You can stay here. Here comes your next level. Pull back like a bow and arrow. Pull back. Cross. To cross. Sink. Cross. Maybe you touch your knees. Pull. Touch. Or here to here. Up to you. If you're touching your knees, opt in to sink your hips and maybe your fingertips get near or on the floor. They don't have to. I don't want to have you doing a fold just to touch your floor. Sink your hips. Sink hips down. Maybe the floor is in your movement pattern. Maybe it's not. Four to go. Any level. Three. Two. Then hold your chair pose squat. Wiggle your toes. Breathe all the way in and out. Then make a fist right here. Make a fist. Extend. Fist. Extend. Hold your hands in a fist. Push down to come up. Knuckles up. Squeeze your glutes. Shoulders down. Try to lift your heels. Extend through your fingertips. Find your chair squat. Lower your heels. Wiggle your toes. Palms together. Shoulders down. Push down and come up. Squats here. Alrighty. Now's a great time to grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink and or towel off. I'm gonna choose the towel first. So when I return my food today, I get to see the Valentines who I've not seen since December. Let's step down and grab my water. Let's just say it's water. It is, I promise. All right, make sure you have your room still front side and back. If you didn't set something down in your way, shoulders down and back. The first one out of the gate involves the floor. I've done it before. I'll walk through it. Pamela's favorite. All right, feet slightly wider than your hips. Sink down, push down, come up. Twice more here. And then both arms come up. Inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, hands to the floor. Step back, find any plank. Wrist under shoulders, lower down. Arms up to the side like the letter T. Your arms and legs lift up without releasing your abs. Back down, hands at your side. Right knee bends, right foot flips over. Now your left hand and your right foot push into the floor. Your right arm reaches up. Engage your core, flip back over to any plank. Lower down, make a T, lift, bring your hands in, left leg bends and flips, right hand, left foot, push it down, reach up, keep your core engaged, flip over to your plank, slightly faster here. So lower, lift, in, flip, press down, reach, rotate back to the center, lower. T, arms in, left leg flips, press down, reach, rotate over, do it again, lower. T, hands in, flip, push down, reach, rotate, once more, lower. T, hands in, flip, press, up, rotate, hold your plank, tailbone lifts up, down dog, walk your feet in towards your hands, forward fold, Tailbone lifts up, unroll at the top, palms together and squat. That interval is always deceiving. Seems like it wouldn't be that hard, but it's a lot of moving around on the floor. When we do it, be careful that you're not flipping your arms and legs up and stressing your back muscles. When you engage your core before you lift your arms and legs, that'll give you sort of a base, and then you'll lift and lower instead of swing up and drop. Should we try it again? 
Both arms come up and heel reach up. Bend your knees, hands to the floor, step back. Find any plank, knees down or up. Lower your chest, out, lift, in, flip. Push down, reach, rotate to the center. One last time. Lower, lift, flip, push down, back to the center. Down dog, walk your feet up. Forward fold, unroll. Three, two, palms together, squat. We won't do it again. That was just sort of a little reminder of the back usage. Step back so you have room in front of you. That stuff is tricky, but that stuff we just did, it's more, what do I wanna say? It is more applicable to the outside world. Because oftentimes you have to use your back muscles and you forget to engage from the front. Sort of our stabilizer. All right, left leg steps forward one time. Step forward, then your right. Your back heel stays down on the floor. Your front knee is gonna bend, and then you push off of your front leg. Sink, press. So it's sort of like the warrior lateral lunge that we did. Now it's towards me. Reach away from your screen. Reach, palms together. So you can use this arm pattern, or you can circle up. Reach back, circle up, or reach, palms together. Four more, three, keep this in your head. Two, parallel squat, palms together. Now we'll do the same thing, but to the sides. Left leg steps out one time, bend the left leg, then bend the right leg. Your inside leg stays straight. You push off of your back leg. Arms reach away from the direction you're going and circle, then reach, circle, reach, circle. Do it again for four. I'm cheating a little bit to the corner, so I stay in the frame. All right, towards me, four of these. Towards me, push off, three, do it again. Then out to the corners right here for four, push off to the sides, but I meant to say I'm doing corners. Now towards me, and lean, press up. The further you bend and press, the more output you have to the sides or the corners, up to you. Do it again. Last set, towards me, bend and press off of your front leg. Belly button pulls in all the time. Sides or corners here, four, press. Three, two, parallel squats here. See if you can talk. You should be able to, but not want to. Check your heart rate. Left leg steps out once, just to the side and right. We did this move in the beginning with the release, that one. Sink your hips, push off by pushing down. You feel the stretch when you sink. You feel the contraction when you push. Cross your forearms, push down, come up. Open up to goal posts and cross. Four more just like that. Three, two, center, elbows lift up. So elbows cross. Elbows, maybe your heels lift up when your elbows lift. If they do, option, to get a little more force and get off the floor. Step out left, goal post arms. So out, cross. Two more. Center, elbows up, heel lift or jump. So here, or jump, or keep your feet flat on the floor, up to you. Step out left, goal post. Sink, cross. Two more. And then elbows up, heel lift or jump for four. We're break this down into twos. Step out left. So you have once and cross. Heel lift or jump twice. Again. Step out left. Sink. Cross. Elbows up. One more time in twos. Right here. Step out. Sink. Cross. Elbows. Up. Once more. Palms together. 
Make sure you can talk. Check your wrist if you're wearing a gadget. Otherwise, the talk test should do it. If you feel too breathless to talk, then I want you to take it easy and don't go as full out on the intervals until you feel like you could talk but don't want to. But not able to talk means your heart rate is too high. Shake your arms out, hop or pedal here. So you can pedal or hop. Step or jump out, so pedal, step or hop, jump. Up to you, do it again. For four, three, find your squat. Two, one more, you'll hold, squat here. Push down, come up. I haven't done this one in a while because oftentimes it's hard for me to find the cue. So knuckles together, thumbs glued to your chest, hold up to the right, rotate over. So it's just to the right, not to the left. So right, center, right, center. Ten toes towards me, that includes your knees and your hip bones. Maybe your right knee comes up on one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe you touch your knee on four or three. I begin one, two, three. Now be careful that your arms are not swinging away from your chest. By keeping your thumbs in, that forces you to use your external obliques. Those are the sides of your stomach. And maybe you reach to your ankle. You don't have to, but you can. Rotate, touch, rotate. Do it again. Four, three, two, hop or pedal here. Just hop or pedal. Shake your shoulders out for four, three, step or jump. Here we go. For pedal or hop, step or jump. Once more, hold it here and find your wide squat. Palms together, knuckles together, thumbs at your chest, rotate left here. So left, left, check your knees and your toes and your hips. Maybe your left knee comes up on one. Focus on the left side, left, left. Maybe you touch your knee on one, two, three. Move your thumbs to your chest. Maybe you touch your ankle on three. That makes you lean and sink the hip. Up, lean or not. Thumbs at your chest. Let's do four more. So four, three, two. Hop or pedal right here. Hop or pedal. Take your shoulders out. In four, three, step wide and squat. Breathing in and out. Make sure you can talk. Check your heart rate. Okay, here comes our long, long interval. It's a moment where we'll use our prop if you need it. So grab a sip of water if you need it now or whatever you're drinking. It is Independence Day. Maybe you're celebrating early. I'll towel off. Think about all the places we're going on this long interval. Most of you have done it with me before. Sink, press, cross your forearms. One more, now toes to the corners. Now when you bend your knees, you sink straight down, straight up. Take your arms out to a V, then cross up over your head with your elbow, or with you know, your elbows. With your forearms crossed, then up tempo from here. So up, out, up, out. All right. I feel like maybe my rhythm is off, but maybe not. If you're ready, lift your heels when your arms cross. Up, out. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you press down enough to get some air. So four more. Left arm swings right here to the center, other way. So this is your path. 
pattern, or you can lean over and let your back leg come up. Two more. Center, jump or not. So you can keep your feet on the floor. Heel lift or jump. One more. Left arm swings right. Maybe lean, maybe not. You decide. Center, jump or not. So four. Push down. And left arm swings right. Four of these. Three. Two. Center, jump or not. Up. Out. Two more. Here comes. Warrior three to your right. Either hands onto your prop. Or, woo, or arms on the side of your body. Either way, flex your left foot. Make a fist if your hands are up. Make a fist, extend. If your hands are down, then just hold. If your arms are up, give me two more. Make a fist. Hold your hands in the fist. If your arms are up, right hand comes to the prop or the floor. Everybody opens their left hip towards me. Left shoulder, extend your left arm up. Bend your left knee slowly. Extend, try both knees to bend. Extend, single count. Bend, extend, bend. Do it again for four, pushing down to find your extension. Into the floor, hold this last one. Close your front hip and shoulder. Left toes come to the floor, next to your right heel. Bend both knees together. One, two, straighten up by pushing down. Maybe your front knee comes into the chest and extends anywhere behind you. It can be low level or high. Single count, any level works. Press, sink, press, sink, press. Hold your last position. Wherever that is, step back. Find any plank. Your knees can be down. Your knees are down. Your next progression is up. Once you're up, you can crouch back and plank. Back. If you're taking a crouch, maybe you rotate to the back corner. Front corner. Up a little corkscrew. Back. Straighten out. For four, three, two. Hold any plank. Up, you have the option to step out slowly, out, out, in or faster here, out, in or jumping jacks for four, three, two. Hold your plank, tailbone lifts up, walk your feet up. You're in a forward fold, grab your prop if you're using one, roll up at the top, place your prop on your left. Then hop or pedal. Shake your shoulders out for four, three, feet wide, toes to the corners, sink your hips. Make sure you can talk. I'm not entirely sure that I can. My heart rate feels crazy, but my watch doesn't say that it is. Four more for me. Sink, push down. Cross your forearms. Arms out to a V. Cross over your head, out to the corners, do it again, sink, cross, up tempo faster here, cross, V, maybe your heels lift as your arms cross, if they do, maybe a little more force and find some air, four more to go, four, push down, once more, Right arm swings left here. Center, other way. Remember, this is your move. Option to lean and get a little air with your back leg. Two more. Center, jump or not. So flat, heel lift or jump. Right arm swings left here. Either upright or lean. Two more. Center, jump or not. Up, maybe heel lift, maybe jump. Right arm swings left here. 
Maybe upright. Maybe you lean. Two more. Center, jump or not. Four of these. Maybe your feet stay on the floor like that. Or your three to your left. Either hands, arms by your side. Or hands on the prop. If your arms are up, you'll make a fist extend. Fist extend. Flex your right foot. Extend. Make a fist. Two more. Shoulders away from your ears. Hold your hands in the fist if your arms are up. Bring your left arm down, either to the floor or a prop. Then open your right hip, shoulder. Extend your arm up. I'm going to try to scooch from your frame. Try to bend your top knee for two. Extend. Try to bend both knees right here. One, two, single count. So remember, this can be low, even at the floor, or it can be level or up high. Hold at the top. Close your front hip and shoulder. Right toes to the floor. Bend both knees for two. Press down to straighten so your right heel is up. Then maybe your right knee comes into your chest. And extend slightly faster so you'll bend. Extend, bend, extend. Breathing all the way in and out. Remember the back leg can be low, level, or up high. Once more, hold your last position. Step back to find any plank. I'm using the towel. Wrist on your shoulders. Maybe your knees are on the floor. Once they're up, you can crouch back, crouch to plank, crouch. Maybe you cork through your crouch to the back corner and plank, to the front corner and plank, back, plank. Two more. Hold any plank. If your knees are up, you have an option to step out slowly. Out, out, in or faster here, out, in, or maybe jumping jack for four, three, hold any plank, tailbone in the step, walk your feet up to a forward fold, tailbone in the step, unroll, at the top, face knees, hop or pedal, so you can pedal or hop, in four, three, step out wide, squats here, Whew. Make sure you can talk out loud. Again, my heart feels crazy, and it's not. That is what we call your rate of perceived exertion. It'll feel like you're working harder than you, not than you actually are, because if you feel like you're working harder and your heart rate's not as high as it sometimes is, there are a lot of factors. It can be your level of hydration, it can be how much you slept, how much you ate, how much you didn't eat, lots of things. So four, shoulders down, three, two more. The feet under your hips, both arms come up. Inhale, reach up, bend your knees, hands to your legs, tuck your hips, and then really lengthen your spine, tuck your hips, lengthen, do it again, tuck it around. Stay on your feet, grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink. Towel off if you need to again. We'll go to the floor, hopefully with the towel in your hands. I'm gonna go one towel on the floor, one towel in my hands. I'll turn sideways like I always do. You don't have to, you face whatever direction you want in your house. I'll cue my front arm. Your front arm will be the one that is closest to the screen. If you're not to the side, just whichever arm you want, I will always alternate. Okay. Have my little bitty towel. Have a seat. Your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Pulling your towel out to the side with no slack, shoulders down. As you're sitting up tall with your tail, hey, your tail on your booty bones, your butt bones, right into the floor. If you're rounded this way and you try to roll side to side, you'll get your glutes. If you get up on top, you'll get your bones. Arms out and half curl. One, two, 
and up. Do it again. You round, then you come up. As you round, pull your towel up to the side and press your shoulders down. Option as you curl to bring your towel up by your ears. You probably won't get all the way by your ears. You just want your towel going up toward the ball that you're feeling in front of you. Do it again. Curl. Reach. Do it again. So curl. Reach. Again. Now option on the curl and reach to rotate towards me. Curl. Rotate. Center. Other way. Curl and rotate. But continue to press your shoulders down as you lift your arms up. What? How do you do that? You use your lap. The same muscles you use to unshrug your shoulders. But because we have gravity, we probably don't think about which muscles do that. So be aware, it's like when I always say you're trying to squeeze the marble in your armpit, those are the muscles. One more each side, I'm switching back accidentally. Once more. Then straight back, bring the arms up toward the wall, meet the ceiling in front of you. Now rotate towards me here, towards me, and center, away. Do it again. Option to extend the leg as you rotate across towards me and away. Double pulse here. One, two, other way. One, two, one, two. Keep breathing all the way through this. Breathe all the way in and out. Once more each side. And then forward fold. Keep your knees bent or straight. Take the towel around your feet. Straighten your legs only if that works for your hamstrings. Either way, you'll curl forward. Shoulders away from your ears. Release your low back. Actively separate your shoulder blades. Shins your chest. Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Eyes up. Shoulders and your body. And release your towel. I'm going to use my towel there for a second. All right. Sit up tall. Fingertips out to the sides. I'm going to scooch forward. Tuck your hips. Help let your fingertips help you roll down. When you're all the way down, bring your knees into your chest. Rock your knees side to side. Give your back a rotation. Breathe while you do this. I like to extend my top leg. You don't have to. It's an option. Gives you a little more stretch. Whew. Thought my back would snap crackle pop this morning, but it's not. Come back to the center. Hands at the side of your hips. Shoulders actively pressing down. It's really tempting to keep your shoulders up. We spend a lot of time on computers and devices. So open your shoulders, press them into the floor, palms on the floor, untuck your hips, 90 degrees of the hip and the knee, belly button level to your pelvis bone. You touch your stomach, you can feel it's already engaged. Legs are your dumbbells. Extend your back leg out to the wall in front of you. Slowly change sides. Four, three, incoming leg at 90 degrees. One, two, let's go back. Do it again in four. Three, now two counts to get there in one. Two, actively press your shoulders down. Open your length and your collarbone. Single count here. We have three, two, hold and pulse. To kill your momentum. Hold and pulse, do it again in three. Two, hold and pulse, do it again. Three, two, hold and pulse, do it again in three. Two, hold and pulse, once more. Three, two, hold here, both legs to chair, arms to the side, palms up, shoulder blades glued to the floor, legs are your dumbbells, bring them over towards me. For two, center, other way, away from me. For two, center, do it again. You're welcome. You guys make, make this so fun. Do it again, exhale, one, two, Center, away, so exhale. Resist the weight of your leg. Rotate and exhale, resist. One more time this way, rotate for two. Center, keep your legs in chair. Fingertips behind your ears. Squeeze under your armpits, lift your shoulders slightly up. Hold or pulse, up, up. 
knees under your armpits. Three, two, hold to the top, extend your leg. Cross your ankles, bend your knees to the corners. Crunch everything in, extend away from the middle. And crunch everything in, extend, open your elbows as you crunch. In, do it again, exhale, in, one, two, exhale out. Inhale, one, two, this time when you come in, hold, pulse, in, hips, pulse towards your shoulders. Three, two, and release. Both feet on the floor. Heels really close to your hips. Palms on the floor, tuck your hips. Push your feet into the floor. Lift your hips up. Now you can pull out on the sides of your towel or your mat, or you can lace your fingers underneath your hips, scooting your shoulder blades closer together. So this will open your chest and your quads, and then also engage your glutes and your hamstrings. Wiggle your toes. If your fingers are laced, unlace them now, and slowly bring your spine back to the floor. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a little rock side to side. Then hold in the center. Cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which. Grab your knees, or slightly further down. Pull your knees into your chest. You'll feel this stretch behind your top leg and all the way into your glutes. It helps if you breathe through the stretch. And then release. Change sides, other leg on top. Grab your knees, or slightly further down. Pull your knees into your chest. All right, so this week, I can do Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. I've got a lot going on. And next Sunday, my daughter is in a horse show. So I cannot teach on Sunday because she shows early in the morning and it's not close to my house. But I'll be here tomorrow and Wednesday, and I will keep you posted what I'll be doing next week. It's a little sketchy for the next couple weeks. And then release. Both feet on the floor, front knee comes into the chest. Extend your leg up until you feel the stretch behind your front leg. Back leg can stay where it is, or it can walk out to find another point of flexibility. Wherever you are, it doesn't matter. As long as you feel the stretch behind, flex your front foot and bend the knee to the chest. Bend it back up. Do it again. Flex. Bend, send the heel up. Once more, flex and bend. Two, hold your extension. Doesn't have to be straight, just have to feel it behind. Front arm goes anywhere on the inside of your front leg. Then press your leg out towards your screen, only far enough to feel the stretch on the inside. Might only be a little bit. Press your back hip into the floor. Keep breathing through it and then flex both feet by pushing your heel out to the wall. And then bend your front knee back to the center. Front arm out to the side. Back arm goes across your bent knee. And your knee goes away from your screen. Breathing through this stretch. And then come back to the center. Let's do the other side. Front foot on the floor. Back knee comes in. Extend your back leg up. Only until you feel the stretch behind. Front leg can stay where it is or it can walk out to some other point. Flex your back foot, bend the knee to the chest, send the heel up, do it again, flex, bend, send it up, do it again, flex and bend. This time, hold your extension, back arm anywhere on the inside of your back leg. Push your leg just a little bit away from your screen until you feel the stretch on the inside. Pressing your front hip to the floor, shoulder blades on the floor, flex both feet, push your heels out to the wall, breathe while you do this, then bend your back knee to the center, back arm goes out to the side, front arm across, take your knee towards me, breathing as you rotate, reaching out with your back fingertips, and then bring yourself back to the center, both feet on the floor, final stretch, flip over, arms and legs extending all the way out. Front arm reaches back, grab where your shoelaces would be, pull your heel to your hip, press your hip to the floor, maybe you bend your back elbow and make a fist to rest your forehead, 
Either way, you're pressing your front hip towards the floor. Carefully release, change sides, back arm reaches around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Maybe you bend your front elbow, make a fist. Pull your heel to your hip, press your hip to the floor. If you can, stay here, then bring your front arm back around, try to get both feet in your hands. If you're not quite here, work on it. Grab your heels or your pants. Once you're here, you can press your feet into your hands and lift your knees to feel your quads open. Maybe you lift your chest and open your shoulders. Either way, you're breathing in and out. And then carefully release, hands to the side of your chest. Press your chest up, shake your hips back to your heels for child pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Then round your back up to a tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Tuck your hips. Round your back. Separating your shoulder blades. Then push down with your hands and feet to lift your tailbone up. Then walk your feet up towards your hands. In a forward fold, you'll let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll your back. One bone at a time, stacking your spine. When you're all the way up, this class is done. So, I'm here Monday and Wednesday this week. Next Sunday, I can't teach. I can't even teach on Saturday because my daughter's in the horse show both days. But I will let you know my schedule. I'll see you in five minutes for after party or Sunday this week. Have a great holiday. Don't eat too much barbecue.